How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongus Mix Y. The. Okay, it's uh, February 24th. It is Saturday, so we only have the online newspaper. And I'm just riffing it because yesterday was another Whoa, what the heck? day. It was kind of even a medical day. But I'm hesitant to do the medical uh, roundup because of, uh, I think it's losing my viewers. Matter of fact, <laughs> you know, it's like, that's like the sign of getting old. Hey, you know what? I got an operation and there's a couple to take. Gotta go back to see the doctor's sake. And uh, if you're another person, you might share your story if you had something like that going on. But if um, in this view thing, it's like, oh, God, I, I got my own things. I don't have to listen to his. So I don't know. It just, but I'm just riffing it. I mean, actually, I'm thinking um, you. I got my ghost tube box going on. This is kind of like uh, my vlog in here about myself is I can always look back and go, you know what? That is the time that that happened. So, uh, yeah, yesterday my mom, hmm, well, I'll just say it. My mom fell again, but she didn't really fall. She kind of like her ankle is weak. So she's like leaning on her chair. But we she rang me. I went upstairs. I couldn't help her up. And my sister, we couldn't help her up. And then we're at a quandary. So we couldn't help her up. I mean, she's okay, but if she's getting sore, and it's like, ah, I can't stay in this position. So we pulled the chair out slowly and laid her on the ground and figured that, you know, we're going to have to call for help to have, you know. So once again, we got to call the ambulance guys. So they came by pretty quickly, not too bad. And we told them it was non-emergency. We just needed assistance. And then it looked pretty bad because... <laughs> The chair is way over there, the roller chair, and she's like stretched out on the, on the carpet in this little hallway. And that was kind of a reason we couldn't, because this little hallway, I, you know, you have to, you don't want to just yank on people. You have to, you know. So, well, you know, once you call those people, you're going into the ER for the full roundabout checkup because. Of, devil that's right the devil and you know they want to make sure you didn't break no bones don't, don't move the dude and all that because when you get elderly <laughs> now i'm entering the doors of elder i mean dangerous it is but uh you really gotta watch yourself you really gotta be careful you can't like break no wrong things and if uh you know you know, it's, you gotta be completely if you if you if you know any wisdom, uh, pre uh, preventative types of health measures like you know get a little exercise, eat right. You can't eat like you used to eat in the in your twenties. I know that because that's caused my. Anyways, I, I was gonna try to uh, delete all this, but you know I you know what I'm gonna do is just go someplace else because we had this historic landing on the moon with the little, you know, private enterprise robot, and, uh, and you know, just sending data looking for water on the South Pole because they want to make claim because corporate America is going to come into the South Pole before China, before China, idiot. The ghost box is happening because I wanted to show you this. This is... <laughs> yeah. This, this little kind of artifact, or is it... Now, death and dying and good and evil with the battle of good and evil and spirits is probably going to be what I'm talking about. And don't forget to, I'll, I'll show you my new, uh, toast, my Toastmaster friend, he's trying to start a new channel because he's got a message. He's pretty, mm, about this message. And it's like, Nibiru, it's really, that's tripped out. So, um... But he, he, otherwise, he's a great guy, except it's, it's all scattered to bring this message. So he's eventually, <laughs> it's going to be a haul. Don't hold your breath on that. But uh, soon, Modern Shaman. So I'll recommend his stuff. But this is my other Toastmaster friend. Uh, she had this little apartment she was renting, and the guy in there died. Like, ah. And, you know, it's like non response. You know, like text and call and no one, you know, and used to come out and pick a papaya. 
So I called him Papaya Man. So does Papaya Man? No. And he, he wound up, somebody, you know, called the manager and opened up with the key. And yeah, he was Maki Daite. It was like, oh my God. And he had hoarded, like, you know, I mean, people collect stuff. I got piles of stuff on collector. Don't call me a hoarder because then they make you want to throw into your stuff. But uh, there was a lot of junk stuff like uh, uh, food and chicken and uh, stuff in the sink. And like he would have a ketchup bottle. He would use all the ketchup in the ketchup bottle. And then you buy another ketchup bottle. He would save the old ketchup bottle. So it was like a bunch of just a, a ketchup bottle pot. It's like just, uh, just way too much. But um, so she had to clean it out all by herself. I feel uh, Leilani is a strong, she's a big heart, a lot of courage, and a lot of strength. I and into art and music. But at one point, I'm like, you know, could we ghost hunt? You know, could we ghost hunt the apartment? Papaya man, are you here, Papaya man? And she's like, nah, maybe not, because she, her daughter. Her, her daughter thought she heard some steps up there when the guy wasn't there. And uh, so I was declined, but Leilani had passed along some of these things that she found when she was throwing stuff out, because it's just being thrown out. Oh, I might like this. So I guess this is like a... Statue. Yes, it's a statue. It's a little, you know, those little pottery things, a little statuette. And these are definitely Mexico bits. But they sell these to the tourists. This isn't old. This is the kind, you know, like they make them in the village and they go, oh, reach a American tourist. And they try to sell you this stuff because I've seen this. And when I was a kid, I was all into real art, real artifacts versus, you know, Genuine versus uh, this is, uh, and you can tell because of, um, anyways. But this is from Bob's apartment. Press. He went to uh, Mexico. Is there any spirit attached? Oh my gosh. There was a little bit there. There was a, oh look. I didn't think. Maybe. Okay, we'll have to look at spirit attachment. That's what they call it. Haunted objects. So even though it's a tourist thing, we have haunted objects. Great. Um, yeah, because I'm now into that battle of good and evil, because I think a lot of these things that have gone wrong lately is because Easter's yeah. coming up and hexes are being thrown about. Hey! <laughs> Happy Easter! <laughs> <clears throat> Let's keep this short. Okay. The news is it's still kind of windy. It's not quite... The weather is just being weird. Uh, it's not as bad as these giant storms on the mainland. Uh, and my heart goes out to you guys out there. And, uh, uh, I, can, I can't... I uh, can't... It's getting a little better, but it's still... <laughs> And even my tortoise doesn't like to hang about. He just, he hides away in the birds, you know. Wham. So let's see what's in the news. Oh, you have to put up the, the newspaper. Is that a newspaper? I think that's a newspaper. Um, okay, that's all set. Ready? The Hawaii news. There it is. Hey, it's working. I'm using the old machine. I'm not using the new machine. I'm a little bit weirded out about <laughs> Need to go back and use the tried and true hopefully this is where okay it's working now governor governor green kills controversial housing group so he makes this group so they can get quick affordable housing this is kind of like the homeless type of little housing things so he makes pretty much concessions so they can build them quick and fast and cheap now the other groups that build houses are like that's not fair so they're trying to cap that now, over here um, Peterson Upland Farms in, uh, where is it? Waipahu? No, Wahiwa. It's in Wahiwa. But they're going to close down because, uh, you know, it's, it's too much. Business is closed. This is too much. It's They're not making profit. So they're going to close after 114 years. Peterson Upland Farms. 
It's like fresh dairy farm products. And see, she's um, this little Tutu Peterson here. She's 114 plus. <laughs> it's like, I just give them the eggs and then they give me the money. Uh, I don't know. So that's a sad little um, closure. Okay, so um, let's see. It's what's 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 in the sports? Nothing. Good. <laughs> it's a tough test. It's a rough. It's a tough tough. Oh, but oh, this is relax, really. Yeah, relax. You gotta find out. Relax. Just think about the past. And then there's so many relaxing things you can think about from the past. Oh, like back in 1980, when you want to go into uh, relax, you just go out into the yard and do the the, the locomoco choo choo train. Do the locomotion, and they oh, they make a let's make a contest. Oh God, that's just so hilarious. Two thousand students from McKinley High School sit on each other's laps simultaneously. Oh, the bells of Saint Mary. Oh, save us! Setting what organ organizers of McKinley Crazy Week claim is the state lap game record. Uh huh. Inappropriate touching. <laughs> All right. Uh, buckle up for a queer roof. That's a movie review. Uh, abortion battles. Uh, here come the election. Are the embryos baby real? Are they humans? Are are they not? Are they test tube um, organisms? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Nikki Haley says. Oh, Moonlander is lying on its side, but it's... Oh, God, no. Oh, I did, this is the first time I've seen this. Oh, I gotta read this. Okay. A private U.S. lunar lander tripped over at touchdown, ending up on its side near the moon's south pole. Hampering communications. Uh, intuitive machines, that's the AI things that landed it, believe its six-footed lander, Odyssey, or OD for short, was upright after Thursday's you touch. Be here. I know, just quiet. This is the this is important historical stuff. But Steve blah 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 caught a foot on the surface, falling onto its side and quite possibly leaning against a rock. Said it was coming too fast and may have snapped a leg. Oh shoot! We have a bit of operate. We so far we have quite a bit of operational capability, though we've tripped. Oh though we were tipped over. Oh, I thought it was tripped over. So pointed towards the end of the moon. 14 foot lander. So it's down, but it tripped and it's leaning on a rock. <laughs> Tilted off to the side, I suppose. Oh, God. Uh, serendipity is absolutely the right word. Serendipity. It turns out that a switch was not flipped before flight, preventing the system's activation in space. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's why they had to rescue it. Getting the final picture is still incredibly important task for us. Um. Okay. Well, I don't think there's any wind on the moon, so it's just going to be stuck there like that. Okay. Thank you. Oh my God. Put another finger on the pulse here, please. <laughs> we, need to, we need to learn about uh, the kind of stuff. Oh, look, political cartoon. Gaza's children. Uh, so sad. They're in the war zone. Can... I think people are focusing on... There's definitely going to be casualties. It's a war zone now. They shouldn't have made it a war zone in the first place. How about that? Is it a... Oh, Palestine. Remember P PLO? Palestine? Palestinian? Yeah. Patty Hearst, <laughs> yeah. Here, let us to the editor. Lawless chickens are no match for bounty system. <laughs> Let's be realistic. Chopping for chickens one or two at a time is not going to put a dent in the population. Not only is it expensive and time-consuming, it only eliminates a few of them. The average person here can't afford the $300 plus it costs to have a service get rid of a few chickens in the yard. And even if they are removed from one location, they reproduce too quickly for trapping plan to be effective. 
by putting a bounty, say, of uh, $10 on every rooster, maybe $5 for a hen, and $1 per cheek. <laughs> Dollar per cheek. Feral chickens could be a thing of the past within a year. Mm. Redemption stations could be strategically placed to collect carcasses, which could be sold for the animal food or sell to the landfill. I have no doubt that there are a multitude of other uses for the remains. Steve Fisher, talking from Y and I, <laughs> talking in Google voice. Thank you, Steve. Okay. The feral chickens. There's a war out on feral chickens. I go walk in the park and there's chickens. <laughs> Conspiracy chickens. <laughs> so, ah, uh, yeah. Put out a little, and then, and then there'll be a collection station for dead chicken carcasses. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, good luck with that. Idea from Y and I. Ooh. Anyways, have a great uh, Saturday. Aloha. Uh, things are all okay. It's just, uh, I don't know. Gotta watch out for the X's for the kind. It's, uh, you know, he's still coming up, so it's a battle of good and evil. Oh, aloha to you, though. It's a nice day. Who's gonna win? Okay, aloha. Aloha to you. Oh, oh, is that windy? Okay, ooh, shout. Ooh, windy. Aloha.